What is up, everybody? Welcome to DFS by the Numbers. This is my main event breakdown and prediction for UFC Vegas 74. We got Kai Car France going against Amir Albazi. And we are back breaking down a main event here um, after a week off, which was nice. But yeah, we're getting right back into it here. We have a 13 event stretch, I think, something crazy like that. And yeah, we're kicking it off with a, a solid card. Very good main event here in the flyweight division. Definitely looking forward to talking about it. And uh, yeah, closely aligned fight as well. So uh, before we get into it, if you guys can please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Always appreciated week in and week out. Those likes do go a long way. And uh, yeah, I'll be getting out my full card breakdown prediction video on Tuesday. I have 12 out of the 13 fights uh, taped and, and all that. I need to research one more fight. But um, yeah, that should be out on Tuesday there. But let's talk about this main event. That's why we're here. We got Kai Car France going against Amir Albazi. Uh, let's start with Kai Car France here. So Kai Car France, he's 30 years old, five foot four, with a 66 and a half inch reach, 24 and 10, and three and two in his last five fights. Amir Albazi, 29 years old, five foot five, with a 68 inch reach, 16 and one, and five and zero oh in his last five fights. So let's take a look at these odds. Um, and very interesting lineman because I remember looking at the odds when they like first dropped and a couple weeks ago. And it was Kai Car France sitting at plus 150. And Amir Abaz was like minus 175. And I'm like, that's interesting. And I was like, yeah, I mean, Kai Car France at plus 150. Like, what's going on? And I didn't get around to uh, looking into it till like a couple weeks later. And at that point, it's now it's now a pick em. We have Kai Car France minus 115 and Amir Albazi uh, minus 105. And it's a great fight. I think both these fighters are, are very good. I think Albazi is a guy that, you know, he's still young, 29 years old. He's a guy that has been looking phenomenal. He's been going out there and, and beating guys and beating guys, you know, very handedly as well. Um, but I'm a guy that, you know, really takes level of competition um, and, and I factor that into my handicapping, right? Whereas a lot of people don't really do that. Um, but I think level of competition's is very important, at least to me. And there's just like a massive discrepancy between the level of competition between these guys. Like Kai Car France, he went out there and, and beat Askarov. Askar Askarov, undefeated at the time he was. Um, very good win there as an underdog as well. Um, he just lost to, to Brandon Moreno, right? He lost to the, the champ Brandon Moreno in a title fight. Um, he went out there, he has wins against Rodrigo Bontaran, Dangerous Black Belt, Cody Garbrandt. You know, he's beat Tyson Nam. You know, he's beat Rolly Pive. He's beat good guys. Um, losses come to Brandon Moreno and uh, Brandon Roy Val in the UFC, and that's it. So, um, Kai Car France has fought some very, very good guys in the flyweight division. Whereas Amir Albazi, I mean, his level of competition is just not good. Uh, made his debut against Malcolm Gordon. You know, <laughs> Uh, he beats Malcolm Gordon, and then he beats Zalgas Gumagulov. And I know, you know, people like Zalgas. Zalgas is a fan favorite now, but you know, Zalgas is two and actually he's one and yeah, one and five in the UFC. Zalgas, and I know Zalgas, you know, won a lot of those fights, but you know, at the end of the day, Zalgas is one and five in his UFC career. Um, so that win doesn't really, you know, do much for me. And then he beats Francisco Figueredo, who Francisco Figueredo, I think he's two and two in the UFC wins against uh, Daniel De Silva and Jerome Rivera, which don't really count. And then he just recently beats uh, Alessandro Costa. So his wins against Costa, Figueredo, the bad figgy, uh, Zalga Zumagulov, and Malcolm Gordon. Those wins just don't tell me anything. Whereas at least Kai Car France, he has wins against you know very solid competition. And that's not saying Amir Albazi can't win this fight. Because Amir Abazi is really good. This is a guy that has impressed me ever since I remember him coming into the UFC and fighting Malcolm Gordon. Um, I was high on him, you know, at that at that point. And then he went out there and finished Malcolm Gordon, and then um, impressed me in that match. I mean, he's somebody I've been very very high on. It's just this is going to be honestly his first test um, in his entire UFC career. So yes, he's he's 16 and one. That that record looks really good, but he just hasn't fought. Um, anybody that great, in my opinion, whereas, you know, if he beats Kai Car France, it's not only going to be his, his best win, but it's going to be his best win by a mile. So level of competition was one thing that instantly stuck out to me uh, like a sore thumb. 
when it comes to the striking, you know, Kai Car France is a very, very good striker. Um, and honestly, as is Amir Al-Bazi, I just think Kai Car France is going to be the better striker here. Uh, Kai Car France lands 4.7 significant strikes per minute, absorbing only 3.57 with a 64% uh, striking accuracy. Al-Bazi is a little bit lower volume, landing 3.54. Um, absorbing only 2.47 with a 61% strike and defense. So Albazi's numbers are solid, but I do think the advantage in the striking is going to go to Kai Car France. Uh, where it is going to get interesting is going to be in the grappling. Um, Kai Car France on paper does have an 87% takedown defense. Uh, very, very good takedown defense. He showed that off against um, Askar Askarov, where Askar Askarov went, what was he, 2 for 14? on takedown. So um, Kai Car France does have very good takedown defense. And what I noticed about Kai Car France is he has very good submission defense. He has been submitted three times. Um, once was in the UFC against Brandon Roy Val, but he was doing really well fighting off submissions against Askar Askarov and then did a really good job fighting off uh, those submission attempts against uh, Rodrigo Bontarin in his matchup. So I think uh, for Kai Car France, the takedown defense is on point. The submission defense is on point. I guess we're, you know, what's what scares me about Kai Car France in this matchup is potentially the durability. Uh, Kai Car France, ten losses, and a lot of those coming inside the distance. Whereas Amir Al Bazi, only one loss, uh, but he's never been finished. So the durability of Kai Car France does scare me a tad. Obviously, he got finished by Brandon Moreno last time out. He got finished by Brandon Roy Val. Um, and then he's been finished a lot four times outside of the UFC prior to him coming to the UFC back in 2018. So he has been finished a ton of times. And Albazi's dangerous. Albazi's dangerous wherever the fight goes, whether that's on the feet or whether that's on the mat. So I think that's the one thing kind of holding me back from Amir Albazi here um, or from Kai Car France here. And the other thing holding me back is the fact that I missed the line by a mile. Uh, Would have loved Kai Car France at plus 150, but I think a pick him makes a lot more sense to me than than Amir Abazi minus 175. I think that's kind of ridiculous just because he's, he's really good. He just hasn't really proved anything yet. So um, I like I like Kai Car France here. It's just the durability is the the one thing that that kind of scares me here. Um, whereas Abazi, I have no reason to question Amir Abazi's durability. Um, he's not shown any, you know, chinniness. He's not shown any of that. So, whereas Kai Car France, he kind of has. So that's the one thing. But yeah, level of competition. It's Amir Alba, where it's uh, Kai Car France all day. Um, I think the striking is going to be heavily in favor of Kai Car France. And I'm curious to see how this uh, both guys and their cardio looks going into these later rounds. Uh, Kai Car France did have a five round fight scheduled with Brandon Moreno, but that fight ended in the third round. So we'll we'll, we'll see both guys. Um, maybe in the later rounds, what the cardio looks like, but, um, it's a close fight. It is a close fight. I think both guys are very good, but I think I do ever so slightly lean with, uh, Kai Car France here to get the job done. Um, in terms of props on this fight, one thing I was maybe thinking of would, would be like the, the fight doesn't go to decision. I was hoping to maybe get that at that plus money, but it looks like the fight doesn't go is sitting at minus 140 which I, to be honest, I don't love, but I just think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for both guys to finish the fight. I think Kai Car France, he hits very, very hard. Um, and I like the fact that both guys have never went five. And as far as Amir Albazi, he, he has knockout power and he has a, a submission game as well. So I think there's just going to be a lot of opportunities across these five rounds for the fight to finish. But at minus 140, no thank you. And like I said, in terms of the money line, I would have loved... Kai Car France at plus 150, but that line is very much long gone. Very much long gone. So kind of curious to see where this line goes throughout the week, but I will be taking Kai Car France. And I'll say Kai Car France like a late knockout here. I'll say he does catch Amir Albazi at some point. But uh good fight. Good fight, main good main event. I'm gonna go with Kai Car France to get it done. Um not extremely confident in it, but as far as a pick goes, I will take him to to get the job done. But yeah, UFC Vegas 74 main event here. I think it's a decent card. Decent card. And then next week we have a very good pay-per-view card in UFC 289. So looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, like I said, my full card breakdown and prediction video will be out on Tuesday. Make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. And I'll be doing some live streams throughout the week, Friday and Saturday, I'm sure. I'm excited to be back. 13, 
13 weeks in a row. Let's get it. Looking forward to it. If you guys could uh, leave a like on your way out, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and uh, be sure to check out DFSbythenumbers.com. Putting a ton of content out there this week as well, and I'm going to start digging into 289 kind of early, and then I'm going to be getting into the next card after that a little bit early because I'll be going on like a mini vacation in a, in a week or two. So, uh, but yeah, guys, that's about it. Best of luck for UFC Vegas 74, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See you.